is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure ranking video. And today, it's a, a special one. It's a special one. It's one of my favorite guys, personally. We have the American Nightmare. We have Cody Rhodes in the house today, man. Going to be ranking his figures. Got a lot of figures out there, right? Especially in the last few years when he jumped to AEW. Got a ton of figures over there. Came back to WWE. Now, he's getting a ton of figures over here. So, we're going to be getting all of those in, man. Every WWE Elite, all the Ultimates. I know there's only one, but all the Ultimates. His AEW and Rival figures figures, his unmatched figures, his exclusives, his supreme, all of them are going to be plugged into this video, and I think it's over 20 figures here today that we're going to be ranking. Should be really fun, man. If you guys don't know how this works, we are going to run through it real quick, like, but it is very fun. It's one of my favorite video series we do on the channel, but today we're ranking every single Cody Rhodes, WWE, or AEW action figure from worst to best, according to me. Of course, this isn't the right ranking. This is just my ranking, so let's dive into it. So starting out over here on the left, man, we do have the Go Buy It section at the top. If I put a figure in the Go Buy It section, it pretty much means you need to put it in your collection. It's that good of a figure. It feels immaculate in hand. It poses around the best. It looks the best aesthetically. It is just that damn good. You need to spend your hard-earned cashola, and you need to go buy this damn figure. Now, right below that, we have the good figure section. Now, good figure for me means that it's not quite go buy it. Like, if you had it in your collection, I would completely understand it. That's within your right. I understand it. It's a good, solid figure, but I don't think it's a must-have. It's not going to be the cream of the crop, but it may still carry some good quality. Qualities. That is a good figure right there. Underneath that, we have meh, which for me means it's middle of the road. I don't necessarily like it that much. I don't necessarily dislike it. I think that it has some fair qualities, but it's definitely not uh, It's not serviceable. I don't think you need to have it in your collection at the slightest, and it's okay if you don't get it whatsoever. Next up, we have barely acceptable. Now, if something's in barely acceptable, it means that it has one quality keeping it from the very low. So that means that maybe it has a good head sculpt. Maybe it poses around nice. Maybe it has a good attire. Maybe it comes with a really cool cloth goods accessory or something like that you know maybe it's just one thing keeping you from the bottom tier which is going to be the absolute garbage now if you're in the garbage your name's trash corbin but seriously though if you're in the garbage it means that you don't really have any good things about your figure you are the worst of the worst i don't like your figure you need to get the hell out in the yard we say it all the time i throw the figure out the, out in the yard man get it out of my face don't like it whatsoever. Get that trash out of here, Brad. But with all these things being said, let's go ahead and dive into ranking every single Cody Rhodes action figure from worst to best. Now, of course, this is just the elites and all that mess. We're not counting basics. Throw those the hell out in the yard, too. But this is ranking every elite WWE, ultimate WWE, AEW Supreme, unrivaled, and unmatched action figure. Let's get into it. Now, starting out first, we have probably the most recent figure on this list. It is the WWE Elite 103 Stardust. I absolutely love this figure. It is so damn good. It is the best Stardust figure for sure. I actually think I do like it better than the Chase figure in the set. And I think I like it better than the Chase, which is obviously going to come up later in this video. Because I think that the coloration's better and I like the Dusty Rhodes gear. I think it's so toyetic and it deserved a figure. And I like the sleeveless look. I'm going to put this in good figure for now. Could easily be go buy it later on. At the end, we always reassess it. So we'll see where that stands. Next up is AEW Unrivaled 1B Cody. This one is very tough. This is uh, either good figure or meh. I don't think it's go buy it because there's so many good or great AEW Cody Rhodes figures that I don't think this is the best one ever. So I'm going to be putting this one. Damn, this is tough. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. It could change. It could change. It's definitely better than the 1A that had the pale skin tone, of course. But I still think that uh, there's better Cody's, I think. And it's, it's, it's serviceable. It's a good figure. But I don't know if it's... It could be in meh. We'll see. We'll definitely see about that. Next up, we have the Elite 20 Cody Rhodes. God, I really, really love this figure, man. I really, really do. I love the gear. I like I, I like the head sculpt. I think if you switch the head sculpt, it'd probably be better. And I think that this is one that I've owned 20 times, but I don't own the base figure anymore because I customized it so many times. I turned it into a ton of De Demon Finn Balors and stuff like that. So this is before we had Demon Finn Balors, and you know, it's a really good base for that. But God in heaven, I'm going to put this in good figure. I actually like it better than the 1B Cody. I don't know if I like it more than the Elite 103 Stardust. I'm going to put it in good figure right there. Next up is Elite 32 Cody Rhodes, and I really like this figure. I'm going to go buy it here. Uh, one of his better figures. Love the gear. Love the, the hoodie accessory that he comes with. Not the best head sculpt ever. Uh, you know, he certainly has better figures now. I think what would be really cool is if you took one of his modern head sculpts and then painted the hair dark. I think that would be really cool to see. Maybe they'll do that one day. I think that would be pretty cool to make a throwback Cody Rose, but we'll see. Next up, we have the Elite 101 Cody. This is easy money. Go buy it. I love that figure. One of my favorite figures of the year so far. It is just such a stud, man. What a great head sculpt. 
sculpt. What a great figure. Poses around immaculate. The belt sucks, but God in heaven. Double jointed arms, great formula, great posability, great likeness. How could you hate that figure, man? That's go buy it for me. Next up is going to be the Blood and Guts Cody and Dustin 2-pack. I'm putting this in meh. Now, I love the moment. I love the uh, the head sculpts. I like the Blood and Guts line a lot, actually. But I feel like the blood's a little bit cartoony, right? It's not very realistic looking. It makes for great men on card. I just, I don't know, man. It's not my favorite set of all time. My Dustin broke right out of the packaging. And that Dustin Rhodes figure is actually trash. It would be in the garbage. If we were ranking AEW, I'm pretty sure it goes in the garbage. It may be barely acceptable, but I just, I don't like it. He's also six foot nine compared to Cody in this pack. I mean, he is gigantic compared to the Cody figure, and you get them together. I know we're ranking the Cody figures, but the Cody Rhodes figure we've seen two times before as well. The 1A unrivaled, the 1B unrivaled. Then you had this. So we have the gear three times. It's just, it's middle of the road. I, I you know, I skip it completely. Not gonna, I'm not losing sleep over that one, Brad. Next up is Elite 103 Chase Stardust. I think this is a good figure, but I don't know. I don't like having, having a good figure and in there, right there. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Elite 103 Chase Stardust. I mean, I think it's a good figure. I think it's a good figure, but I I, I don't know. Like, it's serviceable if you had in your collection, but yeah, that's cool, and I'm still hunting that figure. I just wish it was sleeveless, but I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of the Stardust gimmick, but I can respect, you know, Cody and how, you know, whatever. Let's move on to the next one. It's a good figure. Love the colors on it. All those different things. Next up is Elite 3 Cody. This one's meh for me. I mean, just, it's his first figure ever. His first Elite, and it's kind of crazy he was in Elite Series 3. That's actually kind of insanity to even think about, but Elite 3 Cody, easily meh. Just very bleh. You know, he had the undersized torso. It was a very small figure. It kind of reminded me of like a damn Daniel Bryan or something. Something, you know, I know this came out before Daniel Bryan. I'm just saying it's very small. It doesn't really it's very early on and it's okay. It's just middle of the road. I don't I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just one it's a perfect meh figure and it just looks super boring too. I mean just look at it. Next up is the Elite 36 Stardust. This is a solid figure, but since we already have the Elite 103 and the Chase and Good Figure, I can't in good conscience put this into the good figure section. So I'm gonna put this in meh, but it is the best meh figure to me. I like this head sculpt that had the smiley face as the the black and gold come with the tag team championships uh really really good quality figure i used to love this figure back in the day saw it a ton of times one of the more underrated wwe elites that you'll see out there but i uh i, I like it better than these other two meth figures for me and i think that the other two stardust are easy like easily if you're gonna buy an elite stardust figure at this day and age you go buy the dusty roads elite 103 and that you call it a day man you pose him with the ladder and you call it a day you go to bed on that right there you can go to sleep It'll, you'll sleep well. That's the way to do things. Next up is Elite 13 Cody Rhodes with the jacket and bag. This one is a good figure. I really, really like this figure a lot. I think that it's fantastic. Love the jacket. Love the bag on the head. Love the clear plastic face mask. Very toyetic. Super underrated figure. Super underrated figure. I enjoy that figure a hell of a lot. Really good stuff right there on that Cody. I actually enjoy the bag on the head dashing Cody Rhodes right there. That's pretty damn good right there, man. That's pretty sweet. I, I enjoy that figure. It has the same body as the Elite 3, but when you throw in the jacket, you throw in the bag on the head, you throw in the clear plastic mask. Very toyetic and just fun to, to pose around. He's going in good figure for me. Next up, we are rolling into the Chase, one of 500, probably rarest Cody Rhodes figure of all time. This is on my bucket list of figures I want, absolutely. And, you know, the thing that makes this thing super awesome is it's Series 1. It's one of 500. It's super rare. The, the entrance shirt is great. The gear is great. Men on card, this figure is beautiful. I'm most definitely not telling you to go buy it. Definitely do not go buy it, okay? Unless you're just some crazy AEW figure collector and all those things. I'm definitely going to get this one day. One day this will be in my collection. But for now, I don't think it's mad. This is good figure. I would put it, I'd put it pretty up here. I really like this figure. Like, if you had it in your collection, completely understand it, the rarity, all those things, but I can't in good conscience tell you to go buy it. Uh, if this figure was just a regular release, I probably would have it and go buy it because I really like the gear. I love the entrance shirt and stuff like that. I know a few people that own this figure, and they're good friends of mine, and they make me sick. If ever any, any day anybody want to gift that to me, that would be great. So I'm just waiting on that one. Next up is the AEW Unrivaled Series 4, Cody. And this one's pretty good. You know, you don't see the black and the green very often. This is a very unique. It's got the Thronebreaker shirt. Great head sculpt. I think this is a solid figure. The more I sit here and look at this, the more I kind of want to move the, the, the 1B figure down. 
uh, because I think this should go here and this should go here. I think that makes me happy. I'm going to put that there. I think the AEW 4 figure is better than the 1B. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. Seeing this figure three times just really makes me upset. I just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't hate the Unrivaled 4. I think it's a solid figure, but he definitely has better AEW figures, so we'll, we'll move into that. Next up is the AEW Unrivaled 4 chase figure in the all gold i love this figure now the only problem is it's going to cost you a pretty penny it's probably going to be at least 100 plus bucks and i don't know if i could say that without a doubt i guess if you have a really good opportunity to own this figure or maybe you can find it loose or or something go buy it but as far as just aesthetics i think this figure is a really good figure i love the coloration on it it's such a damn good looking figure, man. The gold on that thing is outstanding. Any figure that does gold in it needs to use that as the standard. The gold standard of gold on action figures looks fantastic, but the shirt looks good. It's just way better than the regular edition, unfortunately, but it is tough to come by. Now we're going up against the AEW Supreme Edition, Cody. This is a go buy it. I really enjoyed this. I don't know if it's better than the Elite 101. I think that it gets really loose and the head sculpts aren't the best, but it's still so damn good. It's one of the better Cody's. The jacket's immaculate. The Cody Rhodes weight belt is way better than Mattel's. Love the color. It's just a great figure, man. If you own it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's excellent. It's excellent. It's just the best. It really is, but I don't know. I think I like the, I don't know. It's still just passable. I still think that it is a bit loose at times and stuff, but let's move on to the ringside exclusive TNT champion purple and silver Cody, and this one is going to be go buy it as well. Fantastic attire on this guy. The Just like they did the gold on the Unrivaled 4 Chase, the silver on this TNT ringside exclusive is just ridiculous, man. It's like a chrome platinum reflective material color. It is sick as hell. You balance that with the matte purple. It is chef's freaking kiss. Looks amazing, mid on card. It's a, just, a, just a damn good football figure. Gotta go with that right there. Next up, we have the Defining Moments Torn Pet Cody. And this one might be my all-time favorite Cody. At least it's up there. I love the uniqueness of the bruise and the torn peck. I think the head sculpt, I don't know what the hell they did, but for some reason the head sculpt looks like a shrunk down miniature version of Cody Rhodes. That like just the positioning of his face, the eye color, the shape, the coloration of the hair. You throw that in with some sick ass gear, the bruise peck, the moment in time. That that match was so crazy. One of my like more memorable matches in the modern era. I love Cody. I love that match. I love this moment. I love it in figure form. I remember seeing that at the WrestleMania Superstore there with the return of the Defining Moments line. Just sick as hell. I love that DM Torn Pet Cody, and it poses around great. It's just the epitome of a great action figure. Uh, that's a great example right there. I love that Defining Moments Cody. Next up is going to be the top picks Cody Rhodes figure right here. And I think this could go and go buy it because it's basically a repaint of the Elite 101 or the uh, Defining Moment. But I guess I would put it in good figure, but I do like it the most out of all these just because I think that it just looks so damn good. I like the coloration. I like that it's a little bit outside the box. It's it's a repaint, but uh, it's not the most accurate. But I mean, I still like the figure a lot, man. But I love Cody Rhodes, so that's that. But it just in terms of a great action figure, it feels really good. The head sculpt's not as good as the Defining Moments but it's still a very serviceable and passable figure. So we're going to roll with that right there. Next up is the UK AEW Basic Rings Exclusive. This one is a little bit loose. I love the gear. I don't love how, like, it, the skin tone's a little bit off compared to the rest of them, but I do love the gear. And you could easily, like, torso swap it or something like that, but I still think that, <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know where I feel about this one. I don't know if it should be a good figure or if it should be in meh. I'm going to put it in the top of meh. Very loose figure. Very, very loose. And the legs, the legs seem to be stiff. But I do love the gear. The gear is fantastic. But it's pretty much just a repaint of this figure right here and this figure right here. And you could say this figure right here. But it's it, this. they changed factories or something between the Unrivaled 4 and the UK Basic Exclusive. Or ba a Basic Ring Exclusive. Whatever you want to say there. Next up is going to be the Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes. This one's tough. I want to tell you to go buy. I love the jacket, love the head sculpts, love the packaging, love a lot of stuff about it, but it just didn't quite hit the mark for me. And for me, I'm going to put this one in good figure. I don't, uh, I'm not in love with the figure completely. I mean, you could probably even put it at the top of good figure. I just, I don't know, man. I think it get, like, the weight belt should have been adjusted. The jacket's oversized. The gold color's not completely accurate. I'm not the biggest fan of the torso choice that they use there. I don't know. It just could certainly be better, right? It could definitely be a better figure and representation of an Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes. But I still think it's a good figure. I think it's good enough. And I think that uh, it's not quite go by 
buy it. But if you had it in your collection, I'd be like, yeah, it's a, it's a good figure. It's a good figure. Next up is the Chase AEW Unmatched Cody. This is so damn good, and I love, you know, it, again, it's a Chase figure. But I feel like you could get it pretty cheap. I don't think that, you know, I love that. This is one of my favorite AEW figures, the Unmatched Series 4. But I don't know. Can I tell you to freaking go buy it? I mean, I guess I could tell you to go buy it, but is it? Ah, it's so tough because it's just a repaint of the Series 4. Like, look at this right here. Here's the regular version. I'm definitely telling you to go buy that one. I love the suited Cody right here. This is, I, I love this. I freaking love this figure. I, I mean, it could literally be, it could be here. I love that figure. Now, the Chase, it is a cool addition. I'm, I'm reckoning the Navy one, you go buy that. You go buy that on that Series 4. You, you want to have a fun time posing around, you go buy that damn Cody there. And I know the long, if he had a regular suit on, it'd be undefeated. It is like the longer winter coat version, right? Like you're going around New York, it's freezing as hell outside or something like that. But uh, as far as the figure itself, it's so well made. But the Chase figure, man, the Chase figure. I don't know if I could put this and go buy it, but I'll, I'll put it at the bottom of go buy it. I'll put it at the bottom of go buy it just because I love that figure so much and it's just a repaint. I, uh, you know what? No, we're going down. We're going down right here. Good figure. If you had it, completely understandable. If you don't have it, it's going to be okay. Buy this Navy version. You don't necessarily need the gray version, but I do love the gray version as well. I have that, I have that mental card and loose, the, the Chase right there. I love that suited Cody figure. Next up is the first ever AEW Cody Rhodes figure. And this one is, uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of ways to look at it, right? I mean, it's the first series of the Cody Rhodes, right? And I think to get off the ground, it was a good start. And I know they messed up the skin tone. It's supposed to look like what the 1B looks like pretty much. And when it first came out, I think it would be a good figure. But at this juncture, I'd put this at barely acceptable. It's series number one. We know that like COVID and issues like that really held that figure back. It's accept like it's barely acceptable. I think it's barely acceptable. The skin tone's clearly off, things of that nature. But that is uh, that that's where I'm putting that figure. There's a lot of things that go around about that figure. The, the pale skin tone's obviously not right. All those things. But to start our entire line off, I think it was a good figure. It's a serviceable bit figure. But at this juncture, not not quite right. You could easily get a hundred different other Cody Rhodes that are great. And then the last figure that we have, Brad, is going to be the Walmart Supreme Edition. And I think I am going to put this in good figure as well. I'm going to put it at the, or go buy it. I'm sorry. I'm putting it at the bottom of go buy it. I really enjoy the figure. I like that you get the different attires and stuff like that. And I guess you can look at this Supreme and this Supreme as an either or. And they're both go buy it because it's it's like a decision. The jacket's the same. The head sculpts are the same. Uh, I think the t-shirts are different and then the gears are different. It's kind of pick your poison. I think that both of them have really cool options and I do have multiples of both. But, you know, I'm, I'm a psychotic idiot. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm definitely... The exception is not the rule, Brad. So, But that is every Cody Rhodes. I don't think I left off any. I guess it's possible that I left off some, but I think it's like 23 total right here. And, and reanalyzing here, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, this go buy it section is pretty money. You know, on any given day, maybe a figure can move up to the number one spot, but I really do love that Defining Moments Cody Rhodes head sculpt. I did a post on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram because I'll post like some really unique things that you probably won't see on the YouTube channel or something like that because I like it because I can, it's kind of like Twitter, right? I can get a thought out there really quick like I don't have to make a full video, but things that are important enough, I will put them in videos and I'll put them in different things like that. But if it's re a really quick thought and I want to put it out there, Instagram's a good way to do that. Twitter's a good way to do that. So definitely follow us there. But I posted something on Instagram about that figure, comparing the head sculpts between that figure, the, the Elite 101, stuff like that. And you guys can see how damn good that figure is. That's why it is number one there. And then the Unmatched Series 4 Cody Rhodes figure, I love that figure. I just love it. I've talked about it multiple times on the channel. I think it won Figure of the Year for AEW. Uh, two years ago or whenever the hell that figure released. Elite 101 Cody's a damn good one. It's one of my favorite Cody's this year. We have the Supreme Collection, Easy Money, TNT Cody, Easy Money. Elite 32, if you're going to buy a flashback singles Cody Rhodes, that is the one to buy. It's so damn good. I think Elite 103 Stardust could probably be and go buy it, to be honest with you. It, it, like, all things considered. I, I guess because if you're going to buy a Stardust figure, that is the one to buy. I, I would say, like, I, if you had that figure in your collection, and I think you should, it is posable. All the Cody Rhodes Elites are very posable, man. That's just the way it is. But nonetheless, I think that is going to wrap up our Cody Rhodes ranking video, man. I love these videos, man, where if you guys if you guys would like to vote on these videos for the future, my patrons are the ones that get to vote on that. Huge shout out to our patrons, man. Always appreciate those guys so very much. They get to vote on these videos and decide who comes next in the ranking. 
And so I think on the list of people that were able to be done, I think it was Cody Rhodes, Stone Cold, The Rock, and Hulk Hogan, and they voted on Cody Rhodes. So next up, it will probably be Stone Cold, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and probably Macho Man or Ultimate Warrior, and they will get to vote on that. So that will be very fun there. So... If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. Always love the patrons. Those guys are the absolute best. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts on all of these down in the comment section below. How many do you own? How many do you not own? How many did you skip on? Do you think I'm wacky or out of my mind for some of these? Or do you agree with these takes? Leave me all those things down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>